Okay, everybody, um, this is main beer review number 77, and um, I didn't do one last night. I'll get to it in a minute or at the end, uh, but I was thinking today, I go, you know, I've done over 70 of these main beer reviews. I've kept it clean. I, You know, I'm aware of people's feelings, but then I'm thinking today, who the fuck are we trying to protect? I mean, don't tell me that we're protecting some right conservative Christian Chick-fil-A eating zealot. I mean, don't ever tell me we're protecting the kids with our language. I just got through watching the John Wick trilogy, okay? And I love the photography, the filming of it, the locations, the actor, the plot of it with the secret organization of assassins, okay? It's great. And I'm watching it, but it has got to be the most violent series ever. And I'm watching it. I'm streaming it. A couple of them came from USA Network. The other one came from A&E. And they're streaming it. And I'm telling you, guys, in my life, in law enforcement, I'm, I didn't see the worst of the worst. But I've seen some things, some nights that were so bad that the guys and I had to go out and try to drink it off at the end of the night. Or I went home and I couldn't fall asleep for hours, okay? But this John Wick series is violent. Stuff he does, is it makes it's cringeworthy. And yet, they'll show all this to the kids, but when the word comes out and someone is going to say, you're all going to hear bleep. Are you freaking serious? I am sick and tired of this freaking censoring bullshit. And the reason why I'm doing it tonight, because I'm fed up with it. This is fucking nuts. Now, I was putting this on my webpage, or not webpage, but what the frig you call it, Facebook page, and it's on YouTube. They don't give a shit what you say, but I'm not putting it on Kingfield Community Forum <laughs> because they shut down their operation. Who knows why? Who freaking knows why they did it? But I don't care. Anyway, what the, g give me a break. Give me a freaking break with this censoring bullshit. It's 2021. Wake up. If your ki if the kids got cell phones, computers, they've already seen too much. Okay. I'm wound up. Man, I'm still pissed. Okay. Tonight, I'm going to give Booth Bay, I'm going to give myself another shot at Booth Bay Craft Brewery. Last time I friggin... Uh, reviewed one of these beers two nights ago. I was calling it Dumping Rise when in fact it was Jumping Rise. I don't think I can screw up this name but anyway the name of this beer is Ken Brown Ale and apparently it's uh, named after uh, Ken Brown down in the Booth Bay area and he owned Brown's Wharf for years. Um, you got a picture of him here on the uh, the can, and I don't know if Mr. Brown or not, I didn't research it, if he passed away, but anyway, it's dedicated to Mr. Ken Brown, and we're going to pop this baby, and uh, it's a Ken Brown ale, and uh, I'm guessing it's going to be dark, but let's give it a pop and see what it tastes like. <clears throat> okay, ready? One sip means three swallows. Another freaking beer that I like. I mean, uh, another good beer. Uh, they got malts here. I mean, they got a couple malts. The biggest one that pops out to me is a chocolate malt. And it's definitely a chocolatey beer. It's smooth. I guess they throw in some noble hops. Uh, but um, by no means, it's not hoppy. If anything, man, it's smooth. And it's... Um, chocolatey but not sweet chocolatey okay let me get another I mean this is really good beer when I say let me get another drink <laughs> you know I like it that was another zip that's unusual uh, this is a man you know I was gonna stop scoring them high you know because I thought maybe I was just giving these beers a break but again I was talking to my buddy Timmy the other day and he was laughing because when I started this, 
who was saying he didn't think I was going to like any of them, or I said I wasn't going to uh, like any of them, and I'm liking them all. I mean, there really is a beer for everybody. I'm going to take another sip just because it's freaking good. Not fucking good, freaking good. Okay, let's get a color check. Oh, wow. Beautiful beer. As you can see, it's kind of laid out tonight. It's dark. I think it's probably past 8 o'clock. But anyway, it's holding the collar pretty good. But it's a beautiful... I, well, they say a brown ale. And maybe it's a light brown ale. Let's put it this way. Uh, I'm getting a little more reddish color, a reddish brown. But um, who freaking cares? Um, it really is good. Okay, let me taste this again just because I like it. Perp one. Damn, people. Damn, that was another sip. Every one of these are going down um, three swallows. This is one hell of a nice, smooth beer. You know, I, 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 man, you know, I, I'll tell you what. Um, like I said at the beginning, any beer I score in the eights, I drink again. I mean, you know, it's not one I'm going to turn my nose up at. And uh, sevens are all good beers. But, again, another eight beer coming. I mean, I'm telling you, you know. And, uh, baby, for tonight, for this baby, uh, Ken Brownell, Booth Bay Craft Brewery, um, I'm giving it an 8.2. I mean, this is one good beer. This is a good lunch beer. I mean... It's a good steakhouse beer. It's a good burger beer. I mean, I, it's just a good, nice, smooth, little chocolatey beer. Anyway, guys, that's it for tonight. Um, oh, and um, again, it's not real heavy in alcohol. It's 5.6. Guys, um, I didn't uh, do a main beer review last night because this thing in Afghanistan is bugging the hell out of me. It's just it's just bugging the hell out of so many Americans. Um, it's terrible what happened. I'm, I, I'm a veteran, but I'm not a combat veteran. But um, I just couldn't even think about doing a main beer review. And uh, But again, though today I keep this stuff around the house. Not that I could ever forget my brother. But uh, Paul Semperfy. Uh, for tonight, guys, salute. Drive careful. And thanks for watching.